Look at this spot I found. I don't know if I'm allowed to be here, but I don't know. I'm sleeping in there tonight. My little tent. <laughs> Oh, okay. This has been on my to-do list for a little bit now. So I went on my like three or four hour round trip, I don't know, a week ago. And at some point during that, my muffler fell off. So Charles, did I tell you guys I named my bike Charles? His name is Charlie. Anyway, my muffler fell off. I finally just got a new one. So I'm gonna put it on. But I also just found a little tool kit in there, which I didn't know I had. So that's cool. I'm gonna just go around and like tighten some bolts and shit. Cause like things are probably a little loose especially because i'm riding around on like gravel roads and whatnot so let me turn it around i did not know that they came with little toolkits or at least the royal enfields i did get like a little toolkit case that i wanted to put on the back i think i understand how this is supposed to work i can have the tools that don't fit let me go get my other tools beef up this toolkit Love knowing how things work though, for real. Oh, it's so close. You're joking. Good luck. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. How tight does an exhaust connection need to be? Am I going the wrong way? Going the wrong way. What the frick? There we go. Mommy kissing Santa Claus. Ow! It does not feel secure. I think I have it okay ish for now. I need an exhaust clamp. I don't have one. I love doing things myself. Okay, note to self, you need a better exhaust clamp. I can fucking did it. Good morning, folks. I'm officially, officially leaving on my very first motorcycle trip. This first little segment's just gonna be an overnighter. I am all packed up. I'm just driving to Illinois where my aunt and uncle live and flying out of O'Hare so I can go to Mexico to visit my friend Joey for just like the weekend. The prices were half the, prices were half the flight? Flights were half the price? Oh my God, maybe I'm not ready to go yet. So yeah, I'm all packed up. I'm just gonna camp tonight. And then I think on my way back, from Mexico, I'll just take a longer, longer route. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna, I have to add some gas because I don't know how much I have right now. And then I'm gonna check my tires and grab my backpack and, and go. Okay, y'all, I'm supposed to be leaving and I'm pretty much ready to go, but I was gonna check my air pressure in my tires and add some gas to the bike because I don't know how much is in there. And of course I spilled gas all over my pants. So I've been sitting here for like an hour, just like throwing my pants in a quick wash and trying to get them to dry. <laughs> I'm in my pajama pants, but I'm going to attempt to put gas in the tank again, but with a hot funnel because my gas canister is leaky. And then I gotta make sure my tire pressure is good. Please excuse my pajama pants. It's been a morning. Okay, let's hope I don't spill gas everywhere. But there's gas in there, so at least I'll be able to get to a gas station. The pants are dry. I'm gonna just cut some of this plastic sheeting. The one thing I don't have is a tent footprint. And uh, I have a really thin tent. So I'd like to protect it a little bit. Oh, that's nice.
put it in with my dress? Probably. Come on, you have this. Very nice. Compact. Very, very good. Okay. Pull up my back tire a little bit and then I'm just good. going. Of course, I have to drive down and then I'll run back for you. So. Gotta get that driving away shot. You ready, Charlie? This is our maiden voyage. I'm not very far yet. I think I've only been riding for like 10 minutes, but I decided to stop and check all my gear, make sure it's all still strapped down right, and it is. That being said, these gravel roads, there's like gravel roads for like 25 minutes outside of my house. And I've ridden them plenty, but with all this extra weight on the back, it's, it's a new, new experience. So that's my update. I'm gonna keep going. I'd like to take a moment to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Therapy has always been a go-to for me over the years, whether it's working through sadness or anxiety, or even if I've been feeling really good about life. It's always felt healthy to keep in touch with someone about my mental health, through both the good and the bad. I've really liked that it's online-based. As you probably know by now, I have a tendency to be in remote places, which makes physically seeing a therapist pretty hard. Getting started with BetterHelp was really easy. They assessed my needs with a short personal survey and matched me with my own licensed professional therapist. One of my favorite features is how easy it is to switch who you're matched with if needed. Therapy is really personal and matching up with the right person can be kind of tricky. So when my first match didn't feel quite right, I really appreciated how easy it was to request someone different. Now I can log into my account and message with her anytime I need to schedule an appointment or if I just need a quick check-in. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. If this sounds like a good option for you, visit betterhelp.com slash Hannah Lee. That's better H E L P dot com slash Hannah Lee to get 10% off your first month. Okay, it's really beautiful here, but there's people in the best camp spots. I'm talking really quiet because I don't like bothering people. <laughs> but this campsite 
is good, but I would really like it to be on the water and a little more secluded. There's like logging going on and there's people. And I think I, as with the little service that I have, I was looking at satellite view on maps. And I think there's a spot like 20 minutes from here that's actually in the right direction too. And like worst case, I know that this is here. I don't think anyone's gonna show up and take it. I could be wrong, I don't know. But I'm gonna go check it out because I also forgot to get any food. I have oatmeal, so I could do that for dinner, but I'd rather go get some, some food. Maybe make a grilled cheese or something. Also, I need gas. And some wine would be nice. I'm gonna go check it out. It's really good to get my bike around that. Look at how cute it is. So when you go, don't you think about me? Oh, there's geese up there. I don't know if you can see them. Cute. Oh, this is pretty. I feel like it might be really buggy. Oh, but it's gorgeous. Very pretty. Holy camoli. I mean, I feel like I could camp here and no one would come through, but maybe I'm wrong. What's on the other side? What's on the other side? I'm still wearing my helmet and I look kind of ridiculous. Holy camoly. This is fun. I think there might be a good spot over here. Oh, hell yeah. I think I gotta take the bike back here. This is gorgeous. life. There's an ant hill right here. I'm trying to decide if that's going to be a problem. It's so much work to move my freaking bike like 10 feet that way. Do you want to be a problem? I can't decide. Screw it. If I came upon me right now throwing out a big tarp, I would assume I was gonna kill somebody. excited to sleep here tonight. Campsite made. I don't know if I'm allowed to be here, but it seems very secluded. It's definitely like a trail, but I'm sleeping in there tonight. Oh, screw this. It's gorgeous. 
originally I wanted to have a little bonfire tonight and cook my food over that, but the spot I picked is not set up for that. I'm going to just use my camp stove, so I'm really glad I brought that. But it's been so long since I've used you. I kind of want to jam out to music right now because I have not listened to music at all today because I've been on the bike. We've got soup, which I was worried didn't have a can opener lid, so that's very, very good. Oh, and we've got wine. Gosh, this really is the little things in life that feel so good. <laughs> Love when I bring all the right things. Why does everything taste so much better when you're out in the middle of nowhere? I don't have a cup, don't judge me. I also forgot a spoon. <clears throat> Hot diggity. Look at that. Are you kidding me? That is so sharp. Holy crap. Y'all who make these knives, good good on you. That's impressive. Okay, it's time to put on the jammers. And I feel like I should show you. So this is like the entire backpack that I'm bringing to Mexico. I'm only going for three days, so it's not like a big deal. And I'm bringing like my laptop and stuff for work. And so I don't have a ton of stuff. I just want to show you the clothes that I bring. This is it. Got my towel in here, bra, underwear, all that fun stuff. Pajamas. That's it. That's all I need. I'll be leaving my motorcycle clothes and my aunt and uncles, obviously. And I think that's it. That's all I need out of here. Ooh, the mosquitoes are coming out. Okay, let's start putting things away. <sighs> well, I don't even know what time it is. It's eight. I'd really stay up a little bit longer, so I'm gonna drink a little bit more wine and write in my journal and maybe listen to an audiobook for a little bit and just lie here. Good morning. Oh, maybe the rain fly was a good idea. Mm. does have a hole in it. So I did end up sleeping on the ground all night, but that is okay. It was fine. So glad I brought it. I don't know if any of you remember my buddy Joey, but he came up with this coffee brewing straw, which I'm about to use because this is the right scenario for it, but it's based on the 
the bombilla. Oh, it's too early for all these words. Um, it's based on the bombilla for yerba mate. It's just got a smaller, finer mesh on the bottom to um, filter coffee grounds. So this way I don't need to like have a pour over thing with me or any of that business. I can just literally throw the coffee in the cup and then put hot water on top of it. And then I'll just drink it through the straw. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little invention. And it makes packing onto a motorcycle way easier, not having to carry all that extra stuff for coffee. Oh, oh my God, it's so Good morning, by the way. It's gorgeous. Everything's very wet. My shoes are wet. <laughs> the tent is wet. Everything's wet. Wet and lovely. I hope it doesn't rain today. The sky is not looking promising. Ooh, it's not even too hot. Okay, I have to listen to this song. It's been in my head. It's not morning music, but it just, it's been in my head since last night. We'll play it really quietly. Okay, here's the plan. I can't get to the water over there, so I haven't cleaned out this. I'm just putting the lid on it and putting it in the bag, and we'll have to find a place to rinse it later. 